This stuff is passed to our east, and that is going to be the last we see of the rain with just a small exception tomorrow afternoon. We'll talk about that in a second, but those storms between two and three did a number on parts of the area, and this is out from Brighton. Uh, we got a couple shots here of these trees down. You can see just the power these winds had, uh, even though a lot of us just saw garden variety thunderstorms as it was that initial push that really brought down these trees. And with so many people just getting their power back on, after those storms that we went through about a week ago, I'm sure everybody was nervous uh, and we did see some power outages uh, as we mentioned earlier tonight. Uh, that flood warning, if you are out in Livingston County near the Huron River, you wonder when this thing's ever going away. It is still in effect. That uh, river is so close to flood stage, should be dropping down sometime tonight or early tomorrow morning. It'll finally be below that mark. Here's the cold front that's coming through tomorrow morning. That's what's eventually going to get rid of our humidity, and usually we see it drop pretty quickly after that front goes through, but this is not going to be the case tomorrow. We're going to be dealing with the humidity tomorrow afternoon, and high temperatures only going to be a little bit cooler than what we saw today, so there's going to be enough instability Maybe a shower or rumble of thunder out there in the afternoon, but nothing severe and most of us are going to stay dry. Then high pressure sets in Wednesday through the remainder of the work week. Humidity does drop. In fact, the air gets extremely dry for late July, early August standards. Can you believe early August? We're almost there. Uh, but once we get into the upcoming weekend, the temperatures come back. The humidity does not. Uh, so it is going to be a very nice weekend ahead. 70 degrees for that overnight low. And again, these are very close to some of our current temperatures. Probably see a little bit more of a drop in some of our uh, areas that are a little bit further away from the lakes. West zone lows, mid 60s, and that's what we're going to see up in our north zone for lows as well. High temperatures tomorrow, mid 80s, and then they get even cooler as we head towards the uh, middle part of the week. We'll end up at 80 on Wednesday and then bounce back into the upper 80s by Sunday. But without the humidity, yeah. plenty of sunshine.